Um, so this video, obviously from the title, is going to be about discrimination within the pagan community. This is an issue that is really near and dear to me, not only because I am a pagan, but because in my everyday life I experience discrimination. I experience discrimination based on the way that I look, based on my skin color, um, based on the way that I dress, even, and based on the fact that I am not a heterosexual person. Um, this issue came up because one of my really good friends who, that I made here on YouTube um, has experienced very intense discrimination, um, very racist discrimination because she is not white and she works within the Greek and Roman pantheon. Um, and she has received comments that she's black, so she shouldn't be worshiping, you know, a European pantheon. She shouldn't be working with those gods. And when I heard that, I seriously, I started crying because she put it in a blog post and I read it and in it she said that she was literally crying as she wrote that post. And reading that, I was just like, how could anybody ever say something so horrible to her? The gods, the gods do not discriminate based on skin color, based on race, based on which culture you were brought up in, based on what religion you were brought up in. They do not discriminate. They're the gods. They don't care if you're from Africa or Asia, or Europe, or North America. It doesn't matter, okay? It just, it really pisses me off. Because I'm like, okay, she's black. Why should that matter if she worships a Greek pantheon? White people practice voodoo all the time, and voodoo is African, well, of African origin. Um, white people practice Rastafari. I practice Rastafari. Should I not be allowed to just because I'm white? White people, black people, everybody, people of non-Asian race practice Buddhism all the time and Confucianism. So should they just not be allowed to practice those, those religions because they're not Asian? I find that most of the discrimination happens in the white pagan community. When I first got interested in heathenism, even I experienced discrimination. Now, I'm white. I am like 100%, well, not 100%, about 90% Caucasian. And so I didn't think I would experience discrimination, especially based on race. But I did. The heathen community is notorious for being mistrustful of people coming into heathenism who are not of purely Scandinavian or Germanic descent. I am part German, um, but I am also Slavic, I am also Celtic, I am also Native American, so in their eyes I wasn't Scandinavian, I wasn't Germanic, I didn't have the right to practice Nordic paganism like they did because they were Scandinavian. Um, and I just, I, it literally baffles me. I'm at a loss for words right now. The fact that our community, our community is supposed to be open-minded and we're supposed to love, you know, unconditionally. And the fact that People are being discriminated against because they're working within pantheons that are not of their native culture. 
really, really upsets me. I just, I don't get it. We live in 2012. We shouldn't discriminate against somebody based on their skin color, based on their culture, what country they're from, based on their religion, based on their sex, based on their, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Their sexuality? <laughs> Sorry, I, I go blank all the time. We shouldn't discriminate based on anything but people's actions. If somebody wants to worship a pantheon that is not of their native culture, I say go for it, because I think that's actually a really, really good thing, because it opens people's minds to other cultures, other ways of thinking, other people, other, you know, everything. If someone, if a white person wants to be a Cameron Wiccan and worship the Egyptian gods, I say go for it. If a black person wants to worship the Celtic pantheon, I say go for it. If a Native American wants to be a heathen, I say go for it. I mean, there are certain paths that most pagans don't have a problem with. If you want to learn shamanism, you can learn shamanism or, you know, something like that. But there are other paths that the pagan community really has a problem with with certain people practicing. Um, such as the European deities. Um, I don't know why this is. Um, it, it, just, it just makes me really sad um, because I don't like seeing my fellow pagans in pain. I have experienced a little bit of discrimination, but definitely not to the degree that non-white pagans experience. Um, because I'm white, I look white, and so I don't really get that much of it. But thinking that somebody, a pagan, would discriminate based on skin color, about what pantheon they can worship and work with, are you fucking kidding me? Like, really? It has, it just, it makes me so mad. So, I would... I just really want to understand this, because we, the gods do not discriminate, and therefore we should not discriminate. We were created by the gods, so whatever they say is right should be good enough for us. That's just my opinion. Um, <sighs> I'm sorry, I, there's so much more that I want to say, but... I don't want to let this video drag on for too long. It's already been over eight minutes. So just tell me what you guys think about this. Um, any hateful or hurtful or discriminatory comments will be deleted and you will be blocked. So there you go. Um, I just want to know your guys' experience with discrimination and any advice or encouragement you can give to not me, but to other pagans, that would be really, really great. I just want our community to become aware of this issue because I don't think a lot of people talk about it because it's just not something we want to think about, especially being pagan. So yeah, I'm going to go now. Um, I'll see you guys later. Bye, blessed be.